Hey everybody, what's up? What a guan? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to the channel. Today's video is highly requested. It is my updated wash and go routine, curly hair routine, whatever you may call it. Um, I feel like this video is long overdue. The last one that I did was like two years ago. So I brought a lot of information and gems that I wanted to drop with you guys, things that I've learned over the years and products that I gravitate to. For me, I have a bunch of different favorites, so I wanted to share all of those with you guys so that you guys could see like different price ranges and maybe you go to the store to get some of these products and some of them are not in stock. At least you have a couple options that you could get, you know what? So I wanted to do that for you guys. Let's get the ball rolling because my hair is wet. It's dripping on my back right now and it's super cool. So let's get started. First and foremost, I always start my routine on wet hair, not damp hair. I started on wet hair. So right now I could already feel that my roots are getting a little bit dry. So I'm going to go in with my spray bottle and I got this bottle from off of Amazon. I'm sure you guys have seen this in a couple of my videos. I like it because it has I just literally sprayed my face. Anyways, <laughs> I like it because it has this continuous spray to it, so it just really disperses into my hair really nice and evenly. First things first, I go in with a leave-in conditioner. This to me is the most important step because I want to make sure that my hair is super, super moisturized. And because of that, I always gravitate towards product that has a water base and not an oil base because an oil base will weigh my hair down and a water base distributes the product nice and evenly and it also gives me all the moisture that I need and I do not have to worry about lathering the product on because it's not gonna weigh my hair down. All right, so I have three favorites here that I want to share with you guys. I love all of them equally, and it all depends on whichever one I spy first. <laughs> when I'm watching my hair, that's the one that I pick up. This right here is from Not Your Mother's, and it's one of their combing creams. I'm sure a lot of you know Not Your Mother's by the white and purple bottle. However, they recently launched an extended natural hair line. There's a bunch of different collections, so you guys should check those out whenever you're in Target. Look and see if they have them, but I really like this one. And another one that I really like is this right here. And this is a new one from OGX. This is the Procoxy combing cream. I feel like OGX are starting to dive into more curly hair products, which I appreciate because they're OG blue bottle shampoo and conditioner. I've been using that for years. So once I saw they started bringing out like products for curly hair, I got really, really excited about it. And of course, I love it. Another one of my favorites is from Garnier. This right here is a three in one product. So you could use this as a deep conditioner. You could use it as a regular conditioner or a leave-in conditioner. I love this thing so much. It smells incredible. It's a big jar and it's super reasonable. I feel like it's like $4.99 or a little bit over $5. Decisions, decisions. Which one will I be using? And I could feel my hair already starting to get dry. Adios mio. All right, so I decided on the Garnier One Minute Hair Mask, and I'm just gonna go in and literally lather my hair with this. It just smells so good. It smells like a banana smoothie. Putting it all over my hair, I start with the top first. And then I get some more, and I separate my hair into two parts so that I could get inside here. And sometimes I split it into different sections too. And get underneath because this is the area that rubs on your t-shirt. So you have to give this side some TLC as well. You can't neglect it because it goes through a lot. Thank you. 
step number two, which is my curl definer or curl cream. As you guys can see, obviously, I have curly hair. This is my natural curl pattern. However, I still like to go in with either a curl definer or a curl cream because I just feel like it activates my curls even more. All right, I have three different curl definers, curl creams that I want to share with you guys. First one is from Afro G, and this is the Curlific Curl Definer. If you guys watched my first curly hair routine, you guys saw this product in there. This is an OG product. The only thing is whenever you're using this, you only use a little bit, like literally a dime size, like not even a dime size, probably half of a dime size. It's a little bit too heavy on my hair especially. So I just apply a little bit and it gets the job done. Um, the next one that I have is from Not Your Mother's and this is from the Curl Talk line, which I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. And then the next one I have is from Swap. This is an OG brand, like I used to shampoo and condition my hair with this. And I'm super, super excited that they now have products for natural hair. Like they have an entire natural hair line and it has shea butter and coconut oil in there. Yum, 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 yum. Look, when I say a little bit. That's all. Oops. I'm going to mix the two together. Oh my God, it smells so good. And then mix this. And then I'm going to split my hair into two and evenly distribute that product. Ooh, you see in here? This needs some love, baby. Mm -mm. You saw that frizz, right? Yeah, no, we don't want no frizz. That's why it's important to do your hair in sections. I'll put a little bit more. I feel like with this step, it's either my make or break moment. So I have to be really careful, but for the most part, I like to just go along with my instincts. So whenever I feel like I need to add a little bit more product, I'll add a little bit more product, but really it's the make and break moment because if I apply too much product, my hair isn't gonna be big and vol voluminous, voluminous, voluminous. You guys know what I mean. Right, let's move on to step number three which is my gel or custard um, for me it's important that I apply either a gel or a custard because this is going to set and freeze my curls in place which means that my wash and go will last a lot longer here I have two options for you guys one of them is from bumble and bumble bumble and bumble has some bomb curly hair products by the way this right here is a anti-humidity gel oil i really like this because in belize it is hot in la in the daytime it is also like very humid so i really like this gel i feel like it works amazingly on my hair and this one is from orbi and this is their curl jelly a little bit takes you a long way. If I use too much, my hair is gonna be crunchy and hard. So I have to be really gentle whenever I use this, but this definitely frees my curls and makes it look really, really nice. So I've decided to use the Bumble and Bumble. This one, you could use a generous amount. It looks like cold. Anyways, I'm just going to Put this onto my hair. So like this area for me is my frizzy spot. So I do like a couple ringlets. So now on to step number four, which is my microfiber towel or an oil cotton t-shirt if you have an oil cotton t-shirt. My microfiber towel, I got it off of Amazon and it's very, very reasonable. If you can invest in it, it's definitely worth it. The regular towel material, I don't know, it has like these little 
thingies on it that gets into our hair and just makes the hair very very frizzy so you do not want to be using a regular towel your hair just won't look as defined or as nice if you're using a regular towel you see over here some of my curls are a little bit straight so if I'm scrunching it it gets a little bit more curlier so I kind of like enhance back the curl pattern That's it for step number four. By the way, my t-shirt is from God is my source on Instagram. And now on to step number five, which I feel like is my secret step in my routine. I haven't really seen a lot of people do this on YouTube. And for the most part, you guys are tagging me whenever you do it. So <laughs> this is my last go fan. I should probably give it a name because this is my ride or die. So I dry my hair using a spinning fan. Um, I like to use the brand Lasco. This is the brand that I grew up on, so I stay loyal to my Lasco brand. I also use a diffuser now and again, especially when like I'm on the go or if I'm traveling and I can't bring Lasco with me, then I take my diffuser. But whenever I'm at home, I like to use my fan and really it does not take that long like with my diffuser it takes like 35 minutes to dry my hair and then with a fan it takes like 45 minutes so 10 minutes more for fabulous results which i do not mind so. over here it has the different speeds oh my gosh this feel this feels like a full-on tutorial lasso sponsor me <laughs> yeah it has different speeds and I like to do it on the highest speed which is speed number three and I'm just going to sit here and let my hair dry do its thing I'll be on my phone the reason I discovered using Alaska fan is because before we didn't have money to buy like a diffuser none of the stores in Belize also had diffusers either and if they did it would be like super expensive um, so I just had to do it the old-fashioned way and in Belize we have a lot of fans in our houses So I just used the fan and I realized that whoa this dries my hair so nicely And then one day I ended up getting a diffuser and I was like eh, This isn't as good as my Lasco fan. So I've been sticking to my Lasco fan <laughs> And I brought her to the United States of America. I'm just kidding. I ordered her off of Amazon <laughs> And brought her to my apartment. Okay. <laughs> Number three. And then I'm just gonna sit here and let my hair dry. One eternity later. I got a little bit chilly because my AC is on and also the breeze from the fan, so I ended up roughing myself. I know this is a little bit like extra, but I'm extra, so what's the big deal? <laughs> so at this point, I could start scrunching it to add some volume because for the most part, my hair is semi almost dry so I'm not really disrupting the curls and if it does get a little bit frizzy it's okay because it adds to the volume so that's what I'm going to do meanwhile my fan is still on drying my hair This is the final results, you guys, for my wash and go. As you can see, my hair is very, very defined. It's big, it's pretty. Keep in mind that this is my day one hair. So as the days go along, my hair is just gonna get bigger and bigger. I, I love it. I love it. This is my wash and go routine. This is what I do and I really hope that you guys love how in-depth I went with this video, sharing with you a variety of different products that you could pick up 
experiment with. For me, it did take a while to figure out exactly what I wanted for my hair, but I think my method makes sense starting with a leave-in conditioner because your hair needs all that moisture and then going in with a defining curl cream because it's gonna add more definition and structure to your curls. And then lastly, a gel to freeze your curls into place. If you wanted to, at the end of this, you could also apply an oil, but I feel like my hair is super moisturized. Some of the products had like coconut oil in it and shea butter. So I don't really need an oil on top of this, but depending on your texture and what your hair needs, maybe you could also go in with an oil. It's all up to you, but experimenting is key, you guys. Anyways, this brings us to the end of this video, guys. It was nice chatting with you. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the notification bell because that's how you get notified whenever I pause. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment because that also helps with the YouTube algorithm. So support your girl and I will be dropping more videos. So see you again in my next video. Bye!